disclaimer I don't work for the Commonwealth Short Story Prize. I was not one of the 2023 judges for the prize. And my opinions and thoughts on the winning stories do not influence in any way the overall winner choice. Hi everyone and welcome to Heroi Reads with Lona. My name is Lona. And today I want to talk about the Commonwealth Short Story Prize 2023 winning stories. So I got a chance to read them. They are actually on Granta magazine. So you can check them out on Granta as well and get to read them. I just want to talk a bit about the Commonwealth Short Story Prize for this year. So the Commonwealth Short Story Prize usually has five regional winners. So when I'm talking about the winning stories I'm talking about these five regional winners and this year the international judging panel chose the five winning stories from a short list of 28 6,642 writers submitted to the prize that's a lot so I'm guessing the judges had a lot of work and the overall winner will be announced in an online ceremony on Tuesday 27th June I think in the past, the Commonwealth Short Story Prize used to have the regional winners in a ceremony that was physical and not online. Could be wrong, but I think there was a time they had it in Cyprus. I wish this year they also had it physically. I don't know what informed the online choice, but there has to be a good reason why it would be online. I could be wrong, by the way. If I'm wrong, you can just uh, tell me in comments. So there were five stories that I got to read from each Commonwealth region. And the first story was The Undertaker's Apprentice by Hannah Gamon. So her, she is the regional winner from Africa. And what I liked about this story was the suspense. And this story had some gentleness in it. When you're reading it, you just feel the gentleness, despite the, the subject, because it's about a mortician working in a funeral home. Then we had Okoi by Kwame McPherson, who's the regional winner for the Caribbean region. And this one has the main character is a black army man, whom after an unpleasant encounter with cops, um, travels in time. And it's so interesting how he travels back in time. It has a Black Lives Matter theme, and it's overall a lovely story. I found it to be very lovely. Just when I finished it, that's the feeling I got. So I loved it. I really loved this story. Then we had uh, Oceans Away from My Homeland by Agnes Chu, who's from Asia, the regional winner for Asia. And this is a story about illness and family bonds and support. So the main character seems to be having breast cancer, although it's not explicitly mentioned. You know, in stories you show, not tell. And she's also navigating life in a foreign land. And there's also a theme of interracial coupling. As I read stories nowadays, I'm coming to realize that um, there are two themes that keep featuring prominently. Interracial coupling and sometimes fantasy stroke, magical realism. So for the stories that I was reading, there's no really... Yeah, there's some element of fantasy and magical realism in the Okoye story. So I wasn't really surprised. I don't know if it's Okoi or Okoi here. Yeah. Then the fourth story was Lech, Prince and the Nice Things by Rue Boldry, who is the regional winner from Canada and Europe. And it has a main character who is a black builder. So there was a theme of uh, racism in the workplace because he just happens to be the only black person among the workers. And him and a workmate secretly go upstairs and use stuff belonging to the owners of the house they are repairing. And also one thing I liked about this story, there's love between the main character and his girlfriend. I really appreciated this fact. And you also get to see the theme of poverty in this story. So overall, it was a good story. Then the last one was Kilinokchi by Himali McInnes, who is the Pacific regional winner. And this is a story which is about an interracial marriage 
there's some element of grief there's the theme of colonialism and what used to happen during colonialism indentured workers um there's a lot in this story the themes are just they are they cover a wide range of topics and they fit so well in the short story they don't seem like they are so overcrowded so there are so many themes in this story and it's about a woman who goes in search of a son who's presumed to be dead but she's very determined to find her son who left home some years ago so she's based in new zealand she's originally from sri lanka so i think my best story out of all these five was this last one because i really appreciated uh, all the themes in one story and how well they fit in the story but what i took away from these five stories is the emotion you just get the emotion when you read them they are so distinct with the emotion they are trying to convey there's also the fluidity the way the story is just flowing i loved it so much and then you see the skill each of this writer writer is highly each of these writers writer or writers <laughs> We normally say English came with a ship, yeah? So each of these writers, they are very skilled in what they are doing. And I can understand the judges' choices of having all five of them as regional winners. So that's it. And I wish them all the best. I'm looking forward to seeing who the overall winner is going to be.